And so let's talk about insulation and retrofits. Adding insulation to a home can have a dramatic effect on energy usage and thus utility bills. In fact, the Department of Energy estimates that a combination of air sealing and insulation can lower heating and cooling costs by up to 20%. But where in the home should insulation be targeted? And why is it so important? Installing insulation helps reduce energy loss in a number of areas in the house. About 25% of a home's energy can be lost through the attic and roof. However, the attic is the easiest place to add insulation and should be the first area of the home to focus on during a weatherization retrofit. Exterior walls, the area through which approximately 35% of a home's energy is lost, can be upgraded with loose fill fiberglass insulation, blown in from either the inside or outside of the house. Unconditioned ground floor spaces like basements and garages can account for about 15% of a home's energy loss. Adding insulation to unfinished walls and ceilings is simple and effective. Other areas of the home that should be evaluated for insulation levels include crawl spaces, knee walls, cantilevers, and band joists. Evaluating the amount of insulation in the attic is as easy as heading upstairs to take a look. If there is no insulation or not enough, installing it becomes the first major priority after air leaks are sealed.